Hello, good afternoon, my dear students. How are you today? Oh, that's good. I know you are all great and you are okay. I am teacher Marvin, your science teacher here. Okay, so this afternoon, our subject is science. Okay, everybody say science. That's right. Now, let me share with you our lesson for today. And I want everybody to please focus to our lesson for today. Is it okay? That's right. And welcome to Primary One English Program here in our school. And and our subject for today is science. And then, and our topic for today is about the snail's characteristics, okay? When we see snail's characteristics, it's about what are the different features of snails, or shall we say characteristics. And before that, let's do have a review first before we are going to start our lesson for today. Okay, so again, let's do have a review. In the last meeting, you were able to learn about the different parts of the body of the snail, which is only the external part and you will able, uh, you know what are the different parts of the body of the snail, such as eye, mouth, the muscular foot, we have the tail, we have the shell, we have also the head. So these are the body part of snail in external part. Very good. Now, my objective for today is for you to be able to understand what are the different features or the characteristics of a snail. Everybody say characteristics. Characteristics. That's right. So you are going to learn the characteristics of snail. Okay, so we have here a snail, this one, and you will be able to know how does the snail work and how is it snail can eat, is it snail can smell or everything. In this afternoon, you will know some of the characteristics of the snail, all right? So we have here, the first characteristics of snail is that snail can live in the fresh water or salt water too. Yes, the snails can live in a fresh water or in a salt water. So when we see salt water, it is the sea. Yes, as you observe, when you go to the river, when you go to the sea, you can see there are a lot of snails because snails can adapt to live in a fresh water or salt water too. Okay, so that is the first characteristic of a snail. And the next one, Yes, that's right. So snails can live in the fresh water or salt too. So yes, it is. This is a snail who live in a fresh water. Okay, next, number two. And aside from that, snails can eat leaves and fruits. Yes, the snails can eat. So snails can eat leaves and fruits. 
So these are the ports where the snail can eat. So we have here, as you can see, the snails are enjoying eating their food, which is this one, and then this one. What are the foods where the snails can eat? It's a uh, leaves or fruits. That's right. Because snail can eat leaves and fruits. Very good. So these are this is an example where the snail eating, enjoy, enjoy to eat their foods, and that is leaves. Okay, next. Snail can see, but cannot hear. Yes, the snail have two eyes. The snail can see, but snail don't have ear. Therefore, the snail cannot hear. So that is one of the characteristics of a snail. Snail can see using its eyes, but snail cannot hear because no ear. So that is one of the characteristics of a snail. As you can see, snail can see but cannot hear. So this is a picture of a snail. And then you will able to see where is the eyes of the snail. So that is the eyes of the snail. Again, I repeat, snails can see but cannot hear because snails don't have ear. Cannot hear, but yes, can see. The snails can see but cannot hear here. Is it okay? Very good. Okay, next. One, and not, one of the characteristics or features of this meal has two long tentacles and two short tentacles. What is tentacle? So the snails have two kinds of tentacles. It's short and long, all right? So as you can see, this is an example or the picture of a snail. Yes, as you can see, there is two short tentacle and two long tentacle. And where is the long tentacle? So yes, this one is what we call the long tentacle. And this one is what we call the long tentacle. And then the another one, these are what we call the short tentacle. Everybody say tentacle, tentacle. Again, tentacle, very good. So, Always remember that snails has two long tentacle and two short tentacle. And so that is one of the characteristic of a snail. Another one, another characteristic of a snail is that snail can produce slime. Again, snail can produce slime so what is slime so this is a slime of a snail as you can see the snail is walking on the ground it so you can see there is a white spot leaving from the way of snail so this is what we call 
slime. Everybody say slime. Again, slime. Very good. Another one. The snail has a muscular foot. The snail has a muscular foot. Everybody say muscular. Muscular. Foot. Foot. Very good. Again, snail has a muscular foot. So where is the muscular foot? of a snail. Yes, this part is the muscular foot of a snail. Okay, so that is the muscular foot of the snail. All right. So first we have Snail can he can see but cannot hear. Number two, snail have two long tentacles and two short tentacles. Number three, the snail can live in a salt water or fresh water. Next, number four, snail has a muscular foot. And the last one, snails can produce slime. So these are one of the characteristics of the snail. Is it okay? So I hope you enjoy our lesson for today and see you soon, my dear students. Goodbye. So that's it. We have 